took less than 24 hours since the October 7th massacre for the internet to do what it does best, spread fake news, denying the truth, and for conspiracy theories to pop out like um, mushrooms after the rain. Uh, well, behind it, there are some serious, mighty forces, for example, Microsoft officials saying clear traces to Russia uh, when it comes to the distribution of misinformation on the war. Uh, at the end of the day, it's us, people, who crave to uh, uh, invent those make-believe uh, 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 rabbit holes. Here's a, connect, a collection of, of some despicable denials of the massacre. There was no killing of children. It was a lie, a lie, a lie. And the Israeli government admits it was a lie. What? So the kibbutz? CNN were actors. I've seen a film showing CNN were actors. So do you, do you deny the, the 1,400 uh, Israelis were butchered by Hamas? Yes, I do deny that. You deny You say There's it's a no lie. There's no evidence for this stuff. When Hamas invaded Israel on the 7th of October, what was your initial reaction to that? Uh, I didn't believe they did, did they, Hamas? Uh, I think so. Honestly, like, I think I need to be a bit more clued up on like, everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm not really qualified to answer that too well. I mean, I'm not sure if I've seen anything that shows that that's actually happened or actually correct. And not sure about what exactly happened, but sure it didn't happen. Let's cross now uh, to uh, Mr. Asa Shapira, uh, head of the Advertising and Marketing Studies at the Tel Aviv University. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shapira, for your time. Well, uh, let's start with the basics because we, we need to clear the clutter here. What's the difference, if there is any, between fake news, misinformation, disinformation, and, and conspiracy theory? Well, there is a small difference. Well, mis and misinformation being uh, flooded through the social media is usually being uh, done by people that have uh, intention to mislead the public. Where conspiracy theories is usually not doesn't come from a, some kind of a political uh, uh, system, but from people that just have distrust to institutions. But in the end, they do look the same, where fake mis- and disinformation uh, perpetuates through social media and uh, captures the public's opinion and, uh, and makes for weird appearances such as what we see now, is where we are living in a post-truth post -truth world where it doesn't matter what's going on in the real world, in social media sphere, yeah. you know, fake news just per perpetuate, and that's a big problem. Right, but, but uh, a part of what makes a, a conspiracy theory a good conspiracy theory, so to speak, uh, is to always include even a tiny part of the truth. True, and I think a lot of the uh, uh, mechanics being used today by uh, foreign uh, agencies that do behavioral change interventions, they use the mechanics of conspiracies where they take a grain of truth and they patch it to uh, uh, a societal uh, uh, break, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then what happened is that this fake news, this piece of disinformation, usually taps into something which people already believe in, and that's why right. it's really hard for them to be uh, 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 noticing that it's untrue or, or uh, should not not be seen as something that should be uh, uh, presumed as something which is truth. And this is a very dangerous method that are now being used by foreign agencies to destabilize societies throughout the Western world. We've seen it in 2016 in the uh, American elections, and we're seeing it now, where we have some evidence of, uh, of Iranian and Russian intervention within uh, the social networks yeah. uh, 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 in the world around the conflict. Yeah, but, but you know, Mr. Shapiro, wh why chaos agents want to so uh, chaos very clear, but why Why do we believe in conspiracy theories? What, what is so appealing in them? How, how does it serve us? Well, it, it breaks down to the fact that we are all cognitive misers, where we, we, we attend to data and information that reaffirms what we believe about the world. Mm. So there's a bias called confirmation bias, where we essentially we, we try to confirm and reaffirm what we believe in. And what usually what that, what's being really useful for people that distribute fake news, 
that they tap to those emotions, to those needs, and engrave that, as you said, grain of truth, uh, and, and manipulate it in a way that when people see it, what they see is basically they see a reaffirmation of what they believe about the world, strengthened by a fake myth or disinformation that they see online. So if you, for a line, if you hate the Jews, if you're an anti-Semite, and you see a connection between what you believe about the world, which is hating the Jews is what you want to, to, to be the truth, and then you, you see it ingrained into some kind of manipulation about what's going on in, in Gaza, then you tend to not look at the information critically. And that's why we see a lot of people essentially being misled and, and are widely misinformed what's, what's the truth about what's going on and who's the, uh, uh, the perpetrator and who's the one that should be blamed for what's going on in Gaza today. So, so to an extent, uh, wishful thinking uh, um, uh, becomes validated by alleged uh, facts or this entire uh, perception of uh, false perception of, of reality. But, but uh, if I'm trying to be the devil's advocate uh, here, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Shapira, there's also a sense that um, conspiracy uh, theories are giving us again albeit false, but the sense of, of control, as in uh, our desire to make sense out of the insensible about the sporadic nature, the vicious, cynical, um, uh, and random nature of life. It does, it, it does come down to, to the affirmation of order, where we need to make order in, in, in chaotic situations. And specifically, if you look at the conspiracy theories around the October 7 massacre, where a lot of conspiracies came about the idea that the IDF was a, a, a part of what happened. It, it took part in, yeah. uh, uh, in the massacre itself. It helped a lot of people, even in Israel, to believe that it's not that the IDF was uh, uh, not working or that it, it was really uh, inefficient, it, it did it efficiently. So it doesn't break down our belief in the IDF, it just takes down the fact that we distrust the fact that uh, they are working on the same interest that they, they should have had. We, we and, rather believe in, in the malicious intentions of someone than uh, get disillusion, disillusioned about, about its, its abilities or its ability to, to control reality. Exactly, and, and and it was so strong that yeah. the need to believe and keep order on what happened on October 7 and to, to, to disprove the fact that the IDF was misled and, and, and fooled by the Hamas, that yeah. 40%, we did a research, 40% of Israelis on the first three days of the war believed that uh, the IDF took part in the in in, in, the, massacre, in the massacre just for him yeah. to have a true... Uh, perception that it, it could not have happened, uh, that we were misled and fooled by Hamas, because that is just uh, something that we 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 fail, we don't want yeah. to. Uh, uh, to believe in. Uh, and, yes, uh, Mr. Shapiro, really in a sentence, if you may, bottom line, uh, how do we make sure that we're not part of the problem, but part of the solution? There, there are no shortcuts, education, period. Well, education can help, but to, the, to a degree, because again, because we're not critical thinkers when we find information on social media yeah. that reaffirms what we believe about the world, even if it's fake news, we, we fail to be critical about the information. So to be honest, it's really hard. And the only way to, to fight fake news is simply don't pay, take part in its distribution. Where you notice something, even if you believe in it, then just don't do share, don't do comments. Assume that even stuff that you believe in is part of a manipulation in, in the world today. As we live in a post-truth world, the, the honest to God truth is you can't believe anything you see or, see or hear. So just keep, keep being critical about anything you see. And, and, and if you can, watch less social media. That would probably do the best. <laughs> yeah, I second that. That's for certain. <laughs> uh, Mr. Asa Shapira, head of the Advertising and Marketing Studies at the Tel Aviv University. Um, thank you uh, very much for this. And let's hope we do find uh, uh, something to believe in um, in the near future. Thank you very much uh, for thank you very this. Much.